Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Learnings. It's time to see the practical demonstration for OAuth and today we are going to build an application where we are you know uh, going to uh, understand the crux of all the articles that we have you know published so far on uh, Tech Learnings. So I'm pretty excited about it and hope you are too. So let's quickly jump on to building our application and for demonstration purpose, we are going to leverage the authentication via GitHub and we are going to access a resource which is there at the GitHub and uh, for that we are going to use OAuth. All right. So let's quickly build an application and we are going to build it uh, with Spring Boot. Okay. So here we are having uh projects and let's quickly build a new project okay spring initializer i'm using java version 11 please wait okay i'm waiting no problem keeping rest as defaults i'm going to use spring web because i want to create a web application let's keep it as demo let's save our time otherwise the video is going to be big so resolving dependencies and let's just you know resync as well so we have our application ready we have demo application all right and let's try to quickly run it and for that we need to add the configuration let's quickly add the application let's say we call it as OAuth spring boot demo and we have the main class as demo application all right so i click ok and time to run the code okay till the time application is booting up so by default it is going to run at you know uh, 8080 and let's try to you know see i'll come back to this page localhost 8080 and our application because we have not defined any page so it is redirecting us to error page okay so let's quickly add a page so inside src main resources static folder let's try to add an html file so that we can at least see some output over there so i'm going to add an index.html and hey i'm just simply writing welcome to oauth world a message okay I'm saving stop the server start it again give it some time in order to start mm, 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 let's see how many seconds it takes <laughs> so 8.3 okay let's now see so we have welcome to auth world so this is our application very simple spring web application and we have added an index.html nothing fancy so far now let's try to you know uh, add the oauth client in order to make this application as the oauth client okay so let's add the dependency and what is that dependency its dependency is in group id org spring framework boot and artifact id is it's a spring boot starter auth to client all right so just by adding this dependency let's see what happens in our application so let me just stop it once and uh, let me just resync the project so that you know we make sure that this dependency is picked up properly and time to run it again so by simply adding this dependency you know it's really magical and uh, let's see what happens now when i'm going to visit the home page all right refresh it takes me to the sign in page wow now we don't uh, you know have username and password but what we want what we want is to log into my application suppose i am you know the user and i am you know uh, trying to access this application so what it is basically what is the possible way that i have either i you know, register at this application by and then i log in you know via the normal flow which is like username and password you enter and then you 
sign in into the application but what instead we want we do not want to sign in via username and password we want to leverage github for that all right so for that purpose so first and foremost the client you know has to register an application i think we talked about it in one of the previous articles as well so what we have to do is we have to register an application with the you know single sign-on provider which in our case is github so i have my account created in github so what we have to do right now i do not have any authorized you know auth apps so what we have to do go to settings go to developer settings and here we have an option authorize apps and option to register a new application let's say i name it as auth to spring boot demo home page url localhost 880 because i already typed it once so that's why it is auto populating for me you might not get the auto populator application descriptor again it's an optional let me just try demo application for auth2 authorization callback url this is you know for github for this for facebook google it will be you know for uh, it will be different enable device flow i do not want to you know enable it for now i say register my application all right so i have registered this application this is the name of my application so uh and it, here it is the client id and you need a client secret to authenticate as the application to the api so let me generate the client secret i think we have already talked about client id and secret in the previous articles please go through that if you have not done that so this is the client id and secret so what i have done i have created an application a client application or uh, at uh, you know github or in other words i can say uh, i have you know uh, registered uh, myself at github and i have created a auth app over here okay now how do i you know uh, let my application know about this uh, uh you know how do i leverage this app which i have created just now here in you know uh, github and with my application so for that purpose we just have to put a few properties so so that you know i can uh <clears throat> it's a spring boot client registration uh, you know properties either you put it in a properties file or either you have it you know uh, turn into a yaml so i have already you know handy uh, kept that kept them handy with me so i'm going to rename this uh, to a yaml file application.yml and uh, let me just show you so these are the uh, where is my yaml so these are the properties let me just minimize it so these are the properties in that you have to you know put it in your yaml so that now my application.yml my application knows that it's you know it's a client registered and it, these are the github's client id and secret so whenever now someone is trying to log in right to that single sign on page see what happens let me just, just not tell you right away uh, of course we have to replace the client id and secrets with ours so let's uh, copy the client id let's not copy the extra space and uh, let's paste the client secret oops it's hidden so how do i see it man uh, okay how do i see it mm, 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 mm. if you you know um uh, tell it uh, tell me if you <laughs> uh, but for the saving time i would generate a new one no problem okay so i have generated a new client id secret i um, was not sure how do i you know view it again no problem let me just copy it and paste it all right so my application has you know client id and secret of course we talked about uh, the security aspect as well where should we keep uh, these client id and secrets and again in one of the previous articles all right so for demonstration purposes it's fine application.yml we are keeping uh, the client id and secrets and we are specifically telling that now 
the client registration credentials with github okay so stop the application and let's start it again you might find I'm you know talking a bit quickly uh, reason big I don't want this video to be uh, very lengthy so now let's try to refresh the page and it is saying login with auth to github it's uh, github okay login with github auth 2.0 and uh, i click on github so it takes me to this page and if i go to localhost 8080 it should automatically redirect me now here all right so if you go to login page let me show it again to you localhost 8080 slash login it will say login with oauth2 and you can click on github over here and if you navigate to 8080 it will automatically redirect you to this page okay now what this page tells us it says authorize oauth2 spring boot demo actually uh, this is the i was thinking we have kept the project name as this but it is actually the name of the app that we have created here this is our application name all right so it says authorize this okay now we talked about what resource we are trying to access okay auth2 this is the name of the app by tech learnings 2202.17 i think this is the username of mine all right this is username so because i have created this application so this is the name of the app and wants to access this account okay and what it is trying to you know uh, gain access to what is the resource that is trying to uh, you know access profile information this is what this you know application is requesting for and uh, authorize or cancel and it will redirect me to localhost 8080 which you know uh, we the url which we provided at the time of registration okay so not on operated uh, rest of the stuff we can ignore for now and uh, let's click on there so this application will be able to read your private profile information okay so once i authorize you are being redirected and uh, okay let the redirection happen <clears throat> welcome to auth world so now i have you know uh, used github for authentication and uh, why and what i am now authorized to this application or this particular you know uh, way in this particular way we are now authorized to read the uh, profile information of on that you know <coughs> github user <coughs> i'm sorry okay so this is how it is right so initially when we were you know moving to localhost 8080 it was redirecting to the sign in page right it was redirecting us here and just when i clicked on authorize so now i am now back to the application and now what github provided me basically it has now this application this client application is now eligible to read the profile information of this particular user okay and uh, let me show you one more thing and uh, where we are let let's see our app now and so if you see our app it says it's one user it means there is one user or one app which is having one application which is having you know the uh, token which has been you know uh, which has been provided by us only right and we just saw that so revoke all user tokens if i do that i understand okay i understand and i want to revoke all the tokens and uh, let me just restart the app and let's see if our authorization flow again comes up or not so 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 it started okay very nice let me just open localhost 8080 it redirects again to this all right we don't have any users as of now let's authorize again 
you will be redirected okay welcome to auth cool we should have one user again we should have we have the user okay so this is how it is and uh, <clears throat> since i'm logged in one more thing before we you know sign off for today's session and let me just log out and uh, let me just try to stop start the application once because it is already running i'm already logged in let's stop start so what should happen now think about it I, right now i'm not logged in initially i was logged in when i you know showed this whole demo application started hey it's asking me to sign in right so that's what we were doing it's authentication right we are going we are uh, in this application again repeating we are authenticating via github right and we are using oauth2 for the purpose of uh, you know uh, the authorizations for the purpose of requesting the resource and which in our case is uh, uh, which in our case is the profile information and we are using auth2 for authentication here as well right our application is a client right which is having the client id and secret and i am the user who is trying to you know use this application so this application says hey uh, if you want to you know uh, log in please sign into your github account if you are a eligible or legitimate user of github then i'm going to trust you that okay you are a you know trustworthy or whatever you call it you are a you know a trustable resource for me as well trustable user for me as well so let me just sign in and now it's cool because i already had uh, you know uh, granted and that uh, token so no need to ask again for that permission i because that i have already provided because i was you know logged out so it requested me to sign in again for authentication reasons and authorization part because i had already you know uh, uh, given the permission to access that information so my application has that information in our case we're not displaying that information for now that information is basically because we are using spring security here so in this in the context of spring security it's you know it, it receives that information okay so i hope i was able to explain this concept not just in demonstration but in the all entire set of articles that i have written we have talked about you know uh, pretty much in depth i i hope i was able to you know explain the concept to you so thank you for watching the video thank you for watching and reading the articles i got a good response over them and uh, it's uh, hard uh, from the bottom of my heart i thank you everyone okay so bye take care